Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a look at CarPro's newest 2021 formulation of their long-term windscreen coating fly by Fort version 4. Now I've done quite a few recent videos on windscreen coatings, including how-to guides and head-to-head -head reviews, so I'm not going to go over all that stuff in this video again, but rather just briefly go through the application and user experience of version 4, and then show you guys some short-term results. Now, I really wanted to test this new version of Flyby Fort out and do this video because although I've used all the versions of Flyby Fort with largely great success in the past, I did personally have a few issues with version 3, so I wanted to see if version 4 had rectified them and improved on the formula, which I hope you guys enjoy watching. Now, as preparation for Flyby Fort version 4, I did thoroughly clean and decontaminate the front windscreen with traffic film and iron removal chemicals, as well as clay the glass to ensure any more stubborn bonded particles were removed. But I'm not going to polish the glass like I usually do, as this new version does state that it's not necessary to polish the glass due to its better etching and bonding properties with glass. So I also wanted to test that out. I also wanted to quickly show you guys what the water behaviour on the front windscreen was like before its application, which as you hopefully can see, was quite poor as far as hydrophobic behaviour goes. And that way we can compare this coating's hydrophobic behaviour more honestly to see how it truly behaves rather than placing it over an already hydrophobic glass surface, which may not honestly reflect the coating's true hydrophobic behaviour. Now the first important step prior to applying this coating is an IPA wipe down to remove any surface dust, oils or chemical residue to ensure a better bond with the coating in which I just used the included CarPro eraser that comes in the kit. As far as this coating's application goes, this new version 4 is really no different to any past fly by Fort applications. Just work on about a quarter of the windscreen at a time and using the included cotton pads, prime them up with the coating and then spend a good minute or two working it over that section of the glass in circular motions. Now with this new version, CarPro does provide a few options as far as preparation and application goes. They do state that you don't have to polish the glass, but if you don't, they do recommend layering the coating approximately half an hour later. However, if you do polish the glass, then they state that one layer is enough. But on all the vehicle's side glass, one layer should be enough regardless. Or at least, this is the case to the best of my understanding. So there are options which is great, depending on how you wish to proceed with this coating's preparation and application. Now as far as levelling or removing streaks in the coating goes, this is done straight after you finish applying it by using the same cotton applicator without applying any more product to it. Just wipe it over the coating using no pressure at all to level down the streaks and high spots until you get a perfect clear and streak free finish. Now I'm not going to lie in saying that it does take quite a few minutes to be able to achieve this. So be patient and diligent and you will get there in the end. I'd also highly recommend you use a handheld light to thoroughly inspect the glass and make sure it's completely streak free and clear before you judge the finish and move on to the next section. I think there's a few situations where people applying glass coatings believe that their coatings start to streak and haze a few days later when in fact those streaks and haze were there from the very beginning and they just couldn't see it at the time. So use good lighting and look at the glass from many different angles before you move on. It's a lesson I learnt many years ago. What I'll also say is that it's just so tempting to grab a microfiber cloth and level this coating down in a fraction of the time, especially as your hands and arms start aching. But in my experience with this coating and this new formula, I would strongly recommend you don't do that as it's going to compromise the coating's performance. So just persevere and understand that it's normal for this coating, but there's definitely a benefit to doing it right and as described in the instructions. To end this video, I really wanted to show you guys at least some short-term results. 
As a point of reference, this is two months and four washes after applying Fly by Fort version 4 on a daily driver that does about 500 kilometers a week in rural and urban settings, and this is over the winter months in Victoria. You guys can obviously judge the water behavior results for yourselves, but what I would say is that the coating has been performing extremely well. At speeds over 70 k's an hour, there's usually little need to use the wipers. But when in use, there has been zero wiper chatter, and if anything, the wipers glide over the glass with less resistance than before. As you can hopefully see, the hydrophobic performance is quite impressive, and based on using all versions of fly by Fort in the past, it's quite clear to me that this is definitely the best hydrophobic behavior of any version to date which is great to see. Also worth mentioning again is that I didn't even polish the glass, yet the coating has definitely bonded to it extremely well, and it's quite evident that it's also performing extremely well two months on, which I must say I was a little surprised with. Now I'd still tend to say that if you do want maximum durability and performance, polishing the glass and layering this coating should provide that. But even without doing that, it seems like it still performs uncommonly well. One thing I do like about CarPro is that they do listen to their customers and make changes based on that feedback. No product out there is ever perfect, but by all accounts, as far as I can see, Fly by Fort version 4 is a large improvement over version 3, as it seems to bond better, be slicker and more hydrophobic. So at least at this stage, I've had quite a positive experience and results with it, which I'm happy to report. If you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccad, which I'll have a link to in the description box. And thank you everyone for the support so far, it's hugely appreciated. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon. Oh